1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 to 26. I received from the Lord what I handed on to you about the supper on the night he was handed over. So, whenever you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread. And, after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this, as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. Saint Paul tells us that his understanding of the Eucharist came from the Lord, the body and blood of Christ are truly given under the appearance of bread and wine. The word remembrance doesn't just mean to remember the historical event. The Jews of Jesus' time would use the word remembrance in this context to mean, to make a reality present. This, real presence of Christ, is what really happens at every Mass. Matthew chapter 18 verse 20 For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Institution of the Eucharist or Mass Today's reading is about the Eucharist and how St. Paul shows the importance of apostolic tradition, church unity, and ceremonial practices of the Mass. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 also explains head coverings in church verses 2 to 16, coming together in unity verses 17 to 22, liturgy of the Eucharist verses 23 to 26, individual preparation to receive communion verses 27 to 34. In chapter 12 we read how the individuals in the church should come together and celebrate each other's spiritual gifts. Some of us sing well, if that spiritual gift is used at Mass in the pews as well as the choir loft it will make for a more beautiful and enlightening celebration not only because of beautiful music but lyrics that continue to tell the story of the Lord's Word. Within Christian community there are several different interpretations of what Christ meant when he said, This is my body, this is my blood. Some believe that the bread and wine remain unchanged, but Christ is spiritually present with the bread and wine. Still others believe that the bread and wine symbolize Christ's body and blood. Catholics believe that the bread and wine actually become Christ's physical blood and body. Christians generally agree in principle, however, that participating in the Lord's Supper is an important element in the Christian faith and that Christ's presence, however we understand it, strengthens all Christians spiritually. You may hear from members of various groups that the Mass isn't biblical because the word Mass isn't used in the Bible. You might ask them if they believe in the Trinity, if so ask them where that is used in the Bible because it isn't. Then read 1 Corinthians 11 and 12 with them.